We're going to convert a Windows Server 2012 GUI to a server core and back. Let me bring our network diagram here just to let you see the setup. So we have one domain controller, two domain members, and these other uh, computers here. That's our setup diagram that we're going to be working with. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to enable remote desktop. And the way we're going to do that, I'm going to open up PowerShell. And I'm going to enter the uh, following command. NetSH, advise firewall, firewall add rule and the name of the rule is going to be RDP in directory direction equals in our action is to allow The protocol is TCP IP. And our local port is 3389. All right, so we added the firewall rule. Now we're going to convert Windows GUI to server core. So we, we entered the uh, needed module. So disable dash windows optional feature online. Feature name, server, core, dash, full, server. It's executing the command right now. And it's installing server core. This should take a few minutes. All right, so now the configuration is done. The computer is asking me if I want it to restart. I'm saying yes, and we're restarting. All right, so it's going to it's going to take the machine about 2 minutes or so before it's fully restarted. So we'll we'll wait for a few moments before we restart before we try to reconnect. All right, the uh, two minutes, a little over two minutes has passed. So I'm going to reconnect to my device remotely. All right, so we're, we are now logged into server core. So this is all you get with server core. Just a command, a command prompt. But uh, you, could, you could run most commands. So if I want to find out the name of the computer, I could type in host name and it, it should give me the name of it uh, plab dm01 so that's fine if I want to verify the um, IP address I could put in the IP config command and uh, get my IP address information all right so take a look at our adapter Ethernet 2 the auto configuration is IPv6 and the address is ending with uh, 193. Let's set a static IP address for Ethernet 2.
shop that mask. All right, so the IP address is now set to a dot twenty. We're not going to get a, a confirmation. The only way for us to confirm it is to run an IP config again to confirm it. And if I scroll up right here where you see Ethernet two, you see the IPv address is a dot twenty right now. All right, we're going to convert server core back to server with GUI. All right, so the operating system is loading the server with a GUI. Now this process takes a few minutes. The DISM tool takes a little while to load all the features. And there's the progress. features are 100% enabled. Now we're going to restart the machine. It's going to take about two minutes to reconnect. All right, we're we're back up. I'm going to click on local server. And notice on ethernet2, we can verify the IP address recreated, which is the .20 address. 